Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 4th of March 2022, the end of the working week if you're on a five day week. Um, and uh, not the end of the working week if you're not, I suppose. Um, okay, I'm bringing you today's Guardian hard level game. Uh, it was rather a nice game yesterday, I seem to remember. In fact, all the games were pl pleasant yesterday, in my opinion. Um, the three games that we play on the channel. Uh, to get to the Guardian Sudoku puzzle, I have to track through the pages of the Guardian. Um, well, it's online, but I mean, they're still web pages. And uh, see the news. Um, as much as I'm trying to not um, be too concerned or worried, uh, can't avoid it. <laughs> And uh, the war news um, continues um, at the time of recording. The Russians haven't managed to take the capital city of Kiev. Uh, but if you're watching this in the future, you know, you're a time internet time traveler looking back on a previous game. Um, you will know that concerns were high across the world. Anyway, let's get on and try to eliminate thoughts of... Uh, war etc from our minds as we focus more on our game of sudoku um, and as soon as i see something interesting that i can tell you about i will tell you if i did see something and i've lost it again oh yeah there it is so <coughs> excuse me seven in this column eliminates any other possibility of seven occurring in any of the squares or cells, whatever you want to call them, and paper's f flying a bit. Let's try and secure it a little better. Okay, so no seven in these three squares. Seven blocks down here, so seven is disallowed from these two squares, and then we have a seven blocking here. So we now know that seven must be placed in that square. It has no other options. Uh, and now we can see seven blocking this square, seven blocking this square and this seven blocking these two squares so in this column the only square that is not affected by other sevens is this one so we know it goes there um, now Seven is a bit of a bogey number for me, I've just remembered. I've got to be careful with the sevens. Strange things happen to me for some reason or another. I never seem to finish my sevens. It's like, I don't know, kid not finishing his vegetables or something. So I should look and see where sevens are available. Two of them are up there. A couple of them are down there. And uh, four places up there. Okay, can't do any more for sevens just yet. <laughs> Uh, eight blocks up here, eight blocks up here, and eight blocks across there, so we can place an eight in that square there. Now we have, uh, similar to the sevens down here, right like this, eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, and eight blocking these two squares. So this is the only square unaffected by an intervening or eight in the same house is the um, technical sudoku term house meaning row column or block three blocks across here and across here so three fits into that square there Uh, missing numbers in this column here are 5, 7, and 9. We don't have 5, 7, and 9. We need to fit 5, 7, and 9 uh, into these three squares. Now, clearly, this square here is verboten for 5 and 7, and so we'll have to be a 9. Now our five blocking up here, and we know, oh, so five and seven here, sorry, let me get this right. Uh, threes can go anywhere, sixes can go anywhere, 
and nines are limited to these two squares. Okay, let's just get that block sorted out in my head. Okay. Uh, one blocking down here, so just one possible location for one. The missing numbers here and here are three and four. Uh, down here, 2 and 8 block down here, so 2 and 8 are here, and 5 and 6 are here. Uh, now, knowing this is 5 and 6, uh, we must be able to get this square here, mustn't we? This is 5 and 6, so this will have to be a 3 then. Now we can look elsewhere because we've done just about everything we can do on the right hand shoot for the moment. Okay, missing numbers here and here have to be one and four. We got a one and four, or and a one and four, blocking these two rows down in the bottom shoot. So we know that one and four must appear in these two squares. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, one and four are here, so that means two and five are in these two squares here. Now, knowing that's two and five, what else do we know? Uh, well, nine blocks down here, so nine is one of these two squares. That's going to put nine up there, which is still not good enough. Um, two and five, uh, what else do we know? Um, seven is down here, which we knew already. Uh, what's the other missing number? Two, uh, five, sorry, <laughs> two, five, uh, eight, I should say, sorry. Uh, 8 can go anywhere, so we don't know anything about that just yet. Uh, let's come back over here in case there's anything else over here. So we know 1 and 4 are here. Um, is that going to give us anything else? Um, the twos, no. Uh, the uh, fives, no. Nines, like this. Oh. Oh, here we go. Nine blocking across here, nine blocking across here, nine blocking down there. So there's an easy number that I've been searching for. Okay, so now nine blocking down here and down here and across here. That means nine goes here. Now, that means these, this square here is a nine, nine blocking down here, nine across here and across here, right? And then seven will fit here because seven blocking across like that. Now, if you remember, we said that this was two and five. So the remaining number will go here, uh, which will be an 8. And now over here we can get uh, 8 blocking across here and blocking down here. So we know 8 is here. And if you remember, we said 2 blocking down here as well. So 2 will be in that square there. Okay, the missing numbers are 5 and 6. That means this will also be 5 or 6, but we don't have any information just yet. Um, but we do have a 2, don't we? Okay, right. Um, 2 is one of the missing numbers here, blocking across there, 2 blocks across there, and 2 blocks down here. So we can place our 2 there. 
Um, so this has got to be five or six as well. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, and we one and four over here. Still no help on the fives or sixes up there yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't panic. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Um. Okay, so two blocking up here, two blocking down here, and two across here. Two fits there. Excuse me. Okay, eight blocking across here and across here and up there. So we can place our eight there. And now eight's blocking up, up, across, and across. So just finally we get a digit in the first block. Block one. Uh, and we've got four blocking up here, four blocking up here. So these two columns are out for four. Then we have an intersecting four here. So now we have another digit to place uh, in the top left block. Um, one blocks up here and one blocks across here. That limits ones to only these two squares. And that means one will block down here, blocking up here again and blocking across there. So now we can say one must fit there. Uh, this column is lacking a 6, but this 6 blocks this square and this 6 blocks this square. So 6 goes here. Where should I be looking now? Which direction should I point my eyes in? Can you point your eyes? That's a strange thing, isn't it? Should I look in, I suppose? Um, well, it's either the top or the middle section, isn't it? I still can't do very much in the bottom, I think. feel like I'm missing something obvious. No doubt you're screaming at me for something that I'm not seeing that's as plain as the nose on one's face. But anyway, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> um, ah, 
Okay, thank you. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. I got it now. Six blocking down here, six blocking up here. <laughs> Clearly, there's a six there. Uh, missing numbers in these three squares are, well, this was two five, that's two five, so it's got to be two five and three. Um, so the three is here, threes are there. Threes are very unhelpful, I think. <coughs> oh, but now, of course, we can in fact place a three in our one remaining location on this row. Oh, that makes it a lot more helpful, actually. So now three blocking up here and across here puts three. Oh, three actually up here as well. Three up here, up here, and across here. I can place it. I thought I'd limited it to a sing to a pair, but no. In fact, we can actually place it. And uh, now then three across here and across here, and one of these two squares blocking up there. So that's our three. Now two blocks this square and two blocks this square, so this has to be our two. Finally we get that and our five goes there and our two goes there, of course. Um, so missing numbers here are five and three. Um, missing numbers up here are nine and something, nine and um, five, I guess. Okay, still can't tell which is which yet though. Um, all right. Uh, but now two blocking across here and across here, so that puts a two there. Seven stops this square from being a seven, so seven must appear there. The last number we need for that row is a five. And five blocking down here and five blocking across here. So now we can come back down to the bottom section and get some stuff. Uh, we've been waiting quite a long time. Uh, six is the last number we need here, six blocking there. Six stops that square, so six goes here. And uh, the last number we need, which I have entirely forgotten, is a 5. We need one number to complete this column. Um, is that a 5? I think it is. Uh, and so... That will put 5 here. 5 is one of the missing numbers here, right? Blocking up there and then 5 across there. So. 5 goes there. Uh, what else was it that we needed? 9 goes up there. Okay, so 9 stops that square there. 9 is here. Uh, the missing number here is 6 now. Uh, 6 blocking across here and 6 blocking up here. So that's our 6. I think we're all done now, aren't we, really? it's uh, There's nothing else to uh, really do. Uh, in this column here, 1 blocks that square there, so 1 appears here. 4 was our other missing number, if you remember. 4 blocks up here, so 4 goes there, and our 1 fits there, stopping that from becoming a 1. And the last number here is uh, uh, a what? A 7. Right, um, just tiny bits to do now. Uh, missing number in this column, uh, it is a 4. Therefore blocking that square from becoming a 4, so 4 fits here. 3 goes here, 3 blocks that square, so 3 is here. Uh, a 5 will be necessary to complete that row, and 5 will block this square here, so 5 goes there, and a 1 will finish the game. Our Sudoku hard level grid for the Guardian on Friday. Nice, quite a nice, enjoyable grid. I'm not sure it's really a hard level, more like a medium or something. But anyway, I liked playing it, and I hope you did too. And it did take our minds off of uh, more serious things uh, in life for a short period of time. And we'll be back with more Sudoku later, so you can do it again. Bye bye.